Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. We will proceed with the demo. Uh, so here you would have already gone through the course contents in the website. Uh, so this is this course is mainly uh, about the Tableau desktop. So you will be uh, learning about all these things, whatever that has been mentioned here. And so the first would be like uh, a basic introduction. So some people would be having knowledge in BI or data warehousing. Some would be new to this particular platform itself. So we will be just having a quick overview of all the things, what you should know. or It's like a brush up of the things which should be known before Tableau. Okay, And then we will be going with the tool like uh, the introduction and step by step finally how to work on the Tableau development part plus and uh, you will be learning about Tableau prep as well which is a data modeling tool. So first of all uh, Tableau is a data visualization tool uh, so it is like uh, a peak tool in the market also. So if you like uh, search for uh, good data visualized tools in the market, so Tableau will be one among them. And also it's like uh, proved as a leader in the market. If you just go and search about Gartner's research and all. So Tableau was in top uh, for uh, consecutive years. So uh, the reason behind that is Tableau provides an, a user friendly environment. So it is like uh, basically a self-service BI tool where everything is based on drag and drop technology. Okay, so it's like uh, you don't going to go by a kind of a coding or something where you're going to write. Uh, a, doesn't you doesn't need much of a coding knowledge also. Anyone can learn this tool very easily. Okay, and uh, this tool, uh, as I said, is more of a self-service BI tool. Uh, like when you compare with the traditional BI tools here, the IT support is not much required. There you can easily connect with any kind of data, any source of data, and you can create a meaningful insights out of it. It is, as I said, it is very flexible kind of a tool, user friendly, and also it provides faster performances where you can create your reports in very less time with faster performances. So the finally, we will be creating uh, these kind of uh, dashboards. So dashboards where uh, you want to provide the analysis of your data. So first of all, why we are going for a data visualization tool? Someone who has already told me they have worked on Excel on something. So first initially, like where uh, when you want to uh, do something on your data, when you want to analyze about your data, so the data which we have would be in a huge collection. So we will be having, so even now if you take everything is big data. So it's, ne it's not about a small data we are going to handle. Everything is very huge. The volume of data is very high. In that cases, it's not easy for us to analyze that whole volume of data and give the final predictions about the data. So where uh, here what we are doing, actually we are transforming the data from the table format to a graphical format. Okay, so that's what the visualization is doing here. So it is transforming your data from a table structure to a graphical format. Okay, so from that where I can easily analyze and tell you. For example, if I'm just going to give you some table with millions of records and if I ask you some questions about the data and um, ask you to answer immediately, it's not a very easy job to do. So I need to go through that millions of records. But same thing if I'm going to represent it in a picture format, it is easy for me. For example, I have thousands of customers. If I ask you who performed well, I need to go through, I need to go through their sales numbers and tell me who performed well. It's the same thing if I'm representing in a bar chart, I can just go through my bar chart and I can tell you, okay, this is the customer who is on the top. So these are the top 10 customers. So this customer is like um, have attained these many sales uh, and uh, comparatively with the other customers. So it is easy for us to uh, analyze the data easy. Right. So that's why uh, even the business people believes that 
pictorial format speaks more so they are switching for these types of data visualization tool which helps us to provide effective decision making process okay and tableau here uh, has lots of products also inbuilt so tableau desktop tableau prep server online etc so tableau desktop is the main thing what we are going to cover in this entire course so tableau desktop is for uh, anyone who wants to connect their data and create meaningful visualizations or meaningful dashboards out of it okay so we also have tableau prep uh, tableau prep is something which is introduced last year so tableau prep is basically about uh, data modeling that is before you go for your development part designing is more important right so designing in the sense so when i am collecting my data from the various sources so my data is coming from various types of sources it can be through online or it, it is from various types of data marts or it is from uh, uh, web source or any kind of source so when i'm collecting the data uh, so next part would be you will be transforming your data according uh, you will be validating your data the cleaning part of the data okay and uh, again even though my data is clean i use a etl tool and i had transformed my data before going for a business requirement i need my data which supports my business needs so the data i have collected may be in in any form but the data which i am going to use it should support my business needs maybe it may be like a simple date format also the date format which format i want to use in my own report so it matters a lot so that designing part where you are going to shape up your data or clean up your data that you are actually going to do with this prep if you see before uh, Uh, tableau prep was introduced uh, there was a challenge with tableau in handling this data modeling part where we are doing only with this desktop but now we have prep also okay so once you finish your development we will be publishing to a online or a server environment okay so only from there it will be shared to the end users so as i said it's a more kind of a flexible tool and uh, you also uh, tableau provides uh, tableau public so you have something called tableau public uh, that tool you can use it for your learning purposes so tableau provides that for free of cost so you can download tableau public and you can use it for your training or learning needs it's on a cloud environment uh, and it it has all the features like how we are using in desktop even tableau provides the 14 days trial for your desktop also so software is not a concern for learning tableau and uh, it supports wide variety of data sources you can connect with a flat file you can connect with the server related data sources uh, relational sources like sql server mysql um you have hadoop kind of data sources sap data sources you also have dimensional data sources if you see we have like uh, cube related data sources and online data sources you have web data connected to connect with your web source data apart from this you also have a jdbc odbc connection according to uh, your requirement you can use either a jdbc or a odbc connector okay tableau supports these many uh, types of data sources and uh, tableau is a tool uh, which is actually introduced from a customer oriented company so if you see there are many other tools in the market who is competitor of tableau like power bi power bi is a close competitor of tableau but power bi is a microsoft product we all know what microsoft is and clickview uh, clicksense cognos cognos again an ibm product but uh, tableau stands out uh, in form of a flexibility and user friendliness mainly because it is a customer oriented product if you see the other uh, products as i said microsoft or ibm they are product oriented company but tableau was something uh, which is actually introduced by an tableau software company which is situated in uh, america so they are actually a software company so they collect their their own needs and when they were searching for a tool they didn't find any tool to be customer 
you uh, friendly customer friendly in the sense if you look back like six or seven years back we had more of traditional kind of bi tools where it requires lot of it support coding skill is needed uh, in order to develop a report itself it takes a uh, months of time where we need to collect the requirement we need to design we need to develop so it takes much more time so uh, only those types where tools were there so from the customer point of view where uh, they will not have much of a technical knowledge so when they are searching for some tools they didn't find it anything user friendly so they came up with their own tool uh, like how and all a customer would expect a tool to be so that is how tableau is being designed okay and uh, Tableau is also much more connected with the real times now. Uh, if you see this particular uh, dashboard, uh, which I want to show, it's mainly if you see, uh, it is showing uh, some uh, records related to hospital data. Uh, so uh, how in from point of a hospital domain they are using this tool so they are actually calculating the number of patients according to the disease and the number of cost that is being occurred based on the patients the cost per patient so if a, 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 a diabetic patient is coming how much it has been in the cut or if a uh, normal uh, case is coming or if on a hypertension or any kind of disease based on that they are predicting the cost or uh, they are using this tool for uh, representing uh, their data uh, so you can also see uh, disease predictions also is possible like percentage of age and disease predictions or so they are much more connected with real time see on um, so previously and all it's more like used with a uh, retail kind of customers they use these types of uh, BI tools but now every domain is uh, trying to use more of uh, automation kind of things where they believe to go with these types of data visualization tools so it's more easier uh, when you want to create a visualization and also it supports uh, visual analytics so there is a difference between uh, visualization and uh, analytics so analytics is something uh, where you are actually going to analyze about your data. You are going to give a uh, what is discovery about your data, what is actual outcome of your data. So here you also carry over analytics through visualization. That's why it's called visual analytics. Uh, Tableau can also be connected with various other programming tools like you can connect with R or you can connect with Python. Uh, for uh, deeper data analysis where because R, Python and all it's a core statistical programming knowledge where you can do more of analytics. So uh, either you're uh, calculating a forecasting or uh, you're calculating the correlation factor, anything you can do with Tableau. And as I said, it's more of user-friendly environment. So simply you do a drag and drop, you got a visualization. So you can create uh, filters. So the recent version of Tableau also, uh, so still the uh, uh, updated version didn't come up, but in the beta version, they came up with the animations in the visualization. Uh, so you can give kind of various colors. So labeling and uh, you have different types of graphs. Uh, so apart from these graphs, many other advanced visualization is supported by Tableau. So in Tableau, you can create both uh, dashboards and stories where dashboard is collection of worksheets. So here uh, you're seeing a customer analysis dashboard. And also you can represent same thing in the form of a story. A uh, story is nothing but uh, when you want to represent something in more descriptive format, you go for a story. Like how you say a story. So here also you will be saying a requirement through a story. So it will be having a, a starting, the flow and the, the end. So when, I, when someone goes through the story itself, they know what we are actually going to say. Even a very non-technical 
technical customer uh, so they can easily understand what we are representing so you can create both uh, dashboards as well as stories in tableau and tableau is much more interactive also you can create interactive kind of dashboard see you can see here the things changes according to the thing i select So the training is going to be more of practical oriented session. It's not theoretical. So, so except the initial session would be theoretical where we go by theory like introduction and uh, about the various types of products. But other than that, it is more of practical oriented sessions with examples. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.